pan. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a family size strawberry cheesecake. Um, it serves eight people and it is six sins a slice. So this is what you need for the recipe. Um, I've been doing online shopping and some things have been substituted. Um, so you can go, these are three sins, but you need a strawberry yogurt. You can use a muller um, to save sins. I've got clover light. You could go with floral light again to save sins. I couldn't get light digestive, so I've just got as Asda ones, which are three and a half sins each. So there's always ways you can save that a little bit more. But the way I'm going to make it with the ingredients that I've got, it will be six sins per slice if you divide it into eight. Um, so what you will need, you will need ten of the digestive biscuits. And these will either need to be crushed in a bag, or you can blitz them up if you've got a blender. You will need a Hartley's sugar-free strawberry jelly. You will need some gelatine. It doesn't matter what type, either leaf or powder. Um, you will need a yogurt, some vanilla extract, two tubs of fat-free quark. You need some strawberries. These are just to decorate in the top, so you don't need these out now. Um, you will need 50 grams of low-fat margarine. You'll need a mixing bowl and a jug and then you will need four tablespoons of candorel so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just start preparing everything and then i'll show you what we do well, you do obviously need a tray uh, with a base that pushes out for the cheesecake the first thing i'm going to do is spray my tin i'm just going to get some fry light Yeah, a good old spray. So if you're using the leaf gelatine like I am, you will need to soak it in water five minutes first. Um, so I'm just going to set that aside now. Um, while that's doing what it needs to do, I'm going to break my biscuits up. I sometimes blend them to make them thinner, but today I'm just going to crush them in a bag. So this is 10 of the biscuits, so I'm just going to give them a bit of a break up and then I'm going to smack them. Just be careful not to break your bag, I've made that mistake before. It doesn't matter if it's too rough either because um, it's nice to get chunky bits of biscuit at the bottom I think. Good old bash. Should do nicely. So what I'm going to do now is get the margarine and you need 50 grams. And what we're going to do is we are going to warm it through. And melt it and then add the biscuits. So I've just weighed my 50 grams and just add that in there. That's it, it'll start melting. I've got it on a medium heat. I'm just going to get, put this marge away while that melts. Just keep stirring it till it all melts. You don't want it on a high heat or it'll just burn the butter. When it's nearly all melted, I'm going to add the biscuit. So your butter is basically just to bind the biscuit, just so it'll stick to your base. So I'm going to pour that in now. Absolutely love digestive biscuits. Um, you could do it with any base. I've done it with Biscoffs before. You could even do it with rich teas. And I, I was speaking to Emma Slimming World at home the other day. Um, and she's done she's done it with high five bars so you can count it as your healthy extras I suppose you could even do I mean she did, she'd done a small one but I suppose you could even do um, a family cheesecake like this with healthy extras and then at least you know each portion is an healthy extra or whatever depending on how many bars you use oh, that smells so nice with buttering Yeah. 
Right, that's all that done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn that heat off. And then we're going to add this to the tin and press it down as firmly as you can to make a base. If you don't press it down firmly, um, when you come to take it out, it'll just crumble and it's quite crumbly anyway. Um, but yeah, the more you push it down, the better it'll be. So there we are. Let's pour it all in. Spread it out evenly over the base and then start pressing down. I always seem to go around edges first. Push down as hard as you can. I always use back of a spoon, but I think people use forks as well. Just, just always have done. I do a, um, a good Nutella cheesecake, but that's full fat, definitely not slim and well friendly. Right, that is as firm as we like it. So this is going to go in the fridge now until we're ready to put the topping on. So I've just boiled the kettle. I'm going to add 140 ml of water to this. About there. And then I'm going to add my jelly crystals. And I'm going to add the gelatine that we've let soften. Pop that in, pull that wash away, and then give it a stir. And then we're going to set it aside to cool for a little bit while we mix the cheesecake mixture. So set that aside and then get your mixing bowl. So I've ended up using my little one this morning, so I'm baking some cake for the kids. So you want to add your two tubs of quark, which are sin free. One. your sweetener which I've put away. Have I? No it's there. Can't see for looking. And the sweetener you need five tablespoons. So tablespoons. One. Two. Three. Like I say, it's better if you get a lower thin one, but this is all I add. So I'll add that. That's it. And then you will need your um, vanilla. Where's my vanilla? Vanilla, where are you? just used it in these buns and I've lost it now. So set that aside and then get your mixing bowl. So I've ended up using my little one this morning so I'm baking some cake for the kids. So you want to add your two tubs of quark which are sin free. One. 
one. See for looking. And the sweetener you need five tablespoons. So two tablespoons. One. Two. Three. Four. to add your yogurt like I say it's better if you get a lower thin one but this is all I add so I'll add that that's it and then you will need your um, vanilla where's my vanilla vanilla where are you just used it in these buns and I've lost it now. So yeah, you will need a teaspoon of vanilla. There we are. Right, and then give it a mix. And then we're just waiting for the liquid to cool down, the jelly liquid, and then that will go through it. So... Use a mixer if you want. Just using a good old spoon. Just because I've got it handy. So it's been about 10 minutes and this is cooled down now. I did end up putting it in a little bit of um in a bowl with some water in, you know, just underneath just to cool it down. So I am gonna put this through. And just give it a stir through. So quite a bit of stirring. Got a fork this time. <laughs> Smells so nice. I had a taste before I added the jelly and it was nice before, but it wouldn't have set enough um to make a firm base gonna get a spoon to give it have a taste actually. Mmm, yummy. So here goes. Yummy yum. It's all spread out, which it should be anyway, because it's quite a runny mixture. And then, feel free to lick your bowl out. But this now, I'm not going to be decorating it until tomorrow. So I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight. Um, and then I will remove it from this. Pop it on a plate, but I'll show you when I do that. Um, and then I will decorate it with the strawberries. So I will catch up with you all tomorrow. So it is the day after and cheesecake is all set. I'm just prepping the topping for it. Um, so it's time to get it out of the tray, which is the difficult part. Um, so I don't know if anyone's got any tips for getting these out, but um, I generally just try and loosen it up with a knife around the edges and then push the bottom up. Um, so I will try now. Not quite easy actually this one. 
So that's come out loads easier than expected. So I'm just going to pop that on the side and get something to scrape it off the bottom with. So when you do a full fat cheesecake, it doesn't usually come off that easy, but obviously that's the gelatine, uh, which has worked in our favour. Try to scrape it off there. That totally ruined the biscuit base. We did spray it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's crumbling. So I'm going to decorate this and I'll show you when it's all done. So this is the cheesecake finished. It looks yummy, it smells really nice as well. Um, so I'm going to divide this into eight portions and each portion will be six sins. Obviously if you do it with lower fat, marge, like the flora, um, less sin, yoghurt and what were the other thing? biscuits if you can get the light biscuits you probably save about half a sin proportion so it work out about five and a half sins so i'll just portion this up and then you can see the sizes that you get so that is it portioned up so you get quite a, a big piece for your six sins and it looks yummy So the cheesecake was amazing. I've just had half a portion, just cut it in half and had a three sim portion today and it was amazing. Um, so that'll last for a couple of days and I can't wait to try it in different flavours. Um, I made it, I, I've made it over the years and I've put too much gelatine in and you probably still could get away with a little bit less. So I might try like half a sheet of gelatine. Or because I'm using jelly, I might not even need it. Um, I'm not very good at following recipes. I like to find my way of doing it and then I don't forget. <laughs> so, yeah, I would really recommend making this cheesecake. It's absolutely fantastic for family. Both kids and Steve have enjoyed it and they said it were better than my last Slimming World cheesecake that I made. Um, which I just think I did a vanilla one. Um, so yeah, really impressed. Um, I think I might do a vanilla and chocolate one. If I can get some... Do you know the two sim flakes and sprinkle that over the top that'd be nice um but i'll let you know and i'll pop it up if i do any others if you do make it please let me know so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe if you've not already done so thank you bye